O Sunitre, O Sunitre, fair eyed girl, Mujer de ojos claros. will I soon Yo prontamente worship your lotus feet adoraré tus pies de loto by carefully por cuidadosamente putting colocar jeweled ankle bells on them and worship the petals of those lotuses your toes with your dearest toe rings will I soon worship your waist which is Mohan's matchless love seat with a golden sash of jingling bells notes Note. first Sri Raghunath has a vision in his Farupa wish and then he prays for devotional service in his external consciousness in this way it varies the sadhaka does not concoct his own path and he does not want his independent conceptions he depends on the words of the acharyas his prayers will be very pure when he serves the Goswami's syllables. Las dos syllables. No, no, no. It's two. By hearing and chanting them. Each of these syllables is filled with the flavor of worship and the great eagerness with which their voices were filled when they offered their prayers. There is a merciful blessing for those who serve these syllables. Sri Rupa Goswami closed off his beautiful prayer named Chatu Pushpanjali with the following benediction anyone who recites this Chatu Pushpanjali prayer dedicating it to the queen of Vrindavana Sri Radhika will certainly become the object of her mercy. Radha Dasya Bhajan cannot be performed in mundane consciousness and it should not depend on any external condition. The words of the Goswamis are very powerful for they will remove material consciousness and cause the heart 
to be absorbed in Sri Radha's devotional service. Sri Raghunath Goswami floats into the kingdom of Lila on the waves of prayer. Tulasi worships Sri Radhika's lotus feet with ankle bells. The word abhyarche in the text means formal worship which usually means regular worship of the deity in the temple with incense flowers baths and so on so it is quite unusual to worship with ankle bells waist bells and toe rings but such are the ingredients of worship in the transcendental kingdom of Radha and Mohan's pastimes. Sometimes when Sri Radhika goes out at night to meet Mohan, she wraps her clothes around her ankle bells to stifle them. Why doesn't she take them off altogether? Because she wants to make them jingle later. When she approaches the trysting kunja so that Mohan can hear her coming. Mohan will be so eager for her to come that he stares down the road for her at every moment. Always imagining that he hears her footsteps when he hears the dry leaves falling from the trees. So these ankle bells are meant to drive him mad. Also, during intimate pastimes, they drive him mad. So, these are the best possible ingredients for this formal worship. And Tulasi is the priest who performs this worship. The jeweled ankle bells are shimmering on Sri Radhika's beautiful lotus feet. Tulasi says, how will you make the Rasa dance glorious without having your jingling ankle bells on? You have to madden your hero, don't you? Swamini shows the thoughts on her mind through her artistic dancing. The ankle bells jingle along with every gesture she makes during the dance. The hero dances with the heroine and different musical instruments make waves of sound. 
the bangles, waist belts, and ankle belts, all resound on their limbs. The more ecstatic the gopis dance, the louder their ankle bells jingle. Mohan plays his flute and the jingling of Swamini's ankle bells enhances the sweetness of his flute playing. Suddenly, one of these ankle bells falls off so that Mohan's flute does not sound so sweet anymore. It is as if something is missing. Mohan looks in all four directions and then finds out that on ankle bell is missing on Swamini's foot. Mohan then tucks his flute in his belt and hangs the ankle bells back on Swamini's foot with both hands. Now his flute sounds as sweet as before. Sometimes a kinkari may also put the ankle bell back while she dances. While Tulasi makes Swamini relish this rasa, she puts the jeweled ankle bells on her feet. The aspirant devotee should also have some experience while he meditates on his devotional service. The flavor of Raja is transcendental and as long as there's even a whiff of material consciousness in the heart, these realizations cannot be experienced. The aspirant should nicely follow the process of hearing and chanting with great attachment and without committing offenses. And the more purified he gets, the more his heart will become like a crystal that will reflect the rasa of Raja. Although we may be practicing bhajan for a long time, feelings of love or rati may not arise due to bad luck or because we contaminate our hearts by committing sins and offenses. Bhajan is the means and the goal. We do bhajan to attain only more bhajan. Sri Narottam Das Thakur sings, when bhajan is ripe, it is called prema bhakti. 
And when it is unripe, it is called sadhana. This is the essential definition of devotion. How wonderfully Sri Raghunath Das Goswami was fixed in his bhajan. He was always floating in an ocean of uninterrupted meditation on the Rasika pastimes of the Yuga Lakishore. Raghunath's discipline was like the lion carved in a stone while she makes Swamini dive in the ocean of Shyamaras Tulasi puts the jeweled ankle bells on calling her Sunetre beautiful eyed girl seeing the wonderful blooming beauty of her eyes the eye that sees Mohan is called the Sunayana a good eye but the gopis will never call that eye that does not see Mohan a beautiful eye. Rather, they will curse such an eye. Mohan's moon-like face is the abode of his nectarian flute song and the birthplace of natural nectarian beauty. What is the use of the eye that does not see him? Let a thunderbolt fall on it. The gopis cannot imagine that there can be any other use of the eye than seeing Mohan. Therefore, they say in Srimad Bhagavat, we do not know of any other greater fruit for the eyes O oh, Sunitre, your very beautiful eyes attract even Mohan, although he himself can attract everyone's hearts. Tulasi serves Swamini by crystallizing Mohan before her with her Rasika descriptions. Then Tulasi puts sweetly jingling toe rings on Srimati's lovely toes calling them Preshta, dearly beloved, and thinking, aha, how fortunate are these tourings. What if I could always stay on Swamini's sweet lotus feet like these tourings who would not feel fulfilled by always staying 
on these lotus feet. Shri Narottam Das Thakur sings, Oh, I will go to the abode of the king of Raja and become the ankle bell of a gopi jingling ever so sweet on her lotus foot. These toe rings are also the greatest paraphernalia of worship because they can illuminate the sweet beauty of Swamini's lotus feet. Srila Vishwanath Chakravati Pad writes, Sweetness itself rolled at Sri Radhika's feet to make itself successful in different ways appearing as her foot ornaments and engaging other fortunate souls in praising her glories by making sounds like Rana Rana just as wealthy people almost always have a festival at their homes similarly the very wealthy Cupid also made a jeweled gate in the form of the bells that hang from Sri Radhika's buttocks in front of his own house to perform his endless festival. Prema Pujarini, the priest of love, Tulasi, hangs a belt with bells on Swamini's waist and says, I want to see Mohan going mad from the jingling of your jeweled sash of bells when you turn and swing during the Rasa dance with your matchless buttocks. All his heart's attachments are in your hips. It is the incomparable seat of his love. Swamini's beautiful eyes are startled when she hears Tulasi speaking about Kamsari. She anxious, anxiously looks at Tulasi's face with some fear in her eyes. Tulasi says, there's no need to be afraid. This powerful hero who is able to kill Kamsa is now completely captured by the beauty of your buttocks. There's no comparison to them and to him. Hearing the word Kamsari, Sri Radhika thinks, has he come? Sri Rupa Goswami calls Srimati's sash 
Kanchana Chitrangi. The wonderful golden body. And her ankle bells. Ratna Gopura. Whose jewels are full of brilliant rays. Srila Vasika Chandra Das sings. Listen, O oh, fair eyed Radhe, I will hang golden ankle bells on your beautiful crimson lotus feet. As soon as they move, they will inundate Mohan's mind with their ever so sweet jingling. Mm. I will put rings on your toes that are like the petals of your lotus feet and I will beautify your thin waist that is the seat of Mohan's love with the sash of bells. This is a good Yeah. We are reading three days. <laughs> Why? How to fix in Manjari Bhav. Bhav will last. Go on. Clear? Clear? Clear or not? If not clear, you have to read this more and more. So, the Manjari is. Uh, thinking in doing Sringar for Swamini is, um, I'm sure there are other reasons, but one of the reasons is so Krishna doesn't go... Put um, Manjari Seva and Pujari Seva. We have a deity, we also do Seva. He's a Pujari Seva. But this Seva, which putting ankle bells with the feelings that I want to keep my mind in her lotus feet is Manjari Seva. We think watching the hips of Radhika and putting the ankle, what you say? West belt. West belt. This is Manjari Seva. But if you do the deity verse, if you don't do so, do that. But this is when Manjari Bhav comes, you want to ornament her. When Manjari Bhav comes, you see the West is very slim. This Manjari can see, Pujari will not see, because he is in Sadak Deha. If he see, he will see from material body. But in Siddha body, when you will see, you will feel different one. One is Sadak Deya, one is Siddha Deya Sadha. This mentioned separately. Seeing in the view of Pujari, seeing in the view of Manjari, when Krishna see to Radha, he always wanted to twin himself with Radha. Gopi also see. Gopi's past time is there or not? What is Gopi see? Read that. The, the eyes who see is Krishna are good eyes. And yeah. the eyes that don't see Krishna, they are coarse. Coarse eyes. I see Krishna seeing. What is this gopi bhav? If you no see the Krishna, I discuss. No talking about Radha. That is gopi bhav. So all is good bhav, but we have to fix the bhav. Na? One pointed. What my eyes want to do, 
and what I want to serve, then my spiritual body can realize. And we cannot expeculate from my mind. We have to do the flow in the teaching of Rasika Acharyas. We cannot expeculate and we do what we like. It's not working. Then we will do very, very wrong things. We cannot realize Manjari Bhav. We will realize that Radha Krishna, we are doing the pastime. Some will become Krishna, some will become Radha. And it when this bhav will come, then we cannot reach for that. I just go. It will be big offense. And this is different. So we cannot expoculate any anything. It's a divine reason how I am which consciousness I Or see that. Sri Ram. But Acharya say, you have to fix your bhav, fixed. Not this, today this, tomorrow this, tomorrow this. And this fixed nature is a city. This is perfection. Sarup and Sarup Siddhi. Fix your nature, your form, fixed in Siddha Deha and test examination is in Sadhak Deha. This physical body is examination hall. When you come back in your Sadhak Deha, what you want to practice nature, You have to check here how it works. <laughs> When it's fixed in sadhak deha, all is right. It's not that this is different state, this is different. Sadhak deha is my testing examination hall. How much you develop your bhajan means sadhana. More examinations come, more tests come. <laughs> And when that examinations test coming, how you work there, one is watching. I do and it watch. Nobody is a... We think that I am hiringly doing, nobody will know. But the... Yeah. Checker are very visible to him. Nothing I can hide. Sadhak Seva Rupena. Why we say the Seva Rupena Sadhak? If you do the Seva in Sadhak Deha, then your desire will not come. Nature is to serve. And Siddha Rupena. You got the umbrella. That this umbrella, you can pass your gyabish. <laughs> Siddha Rupen. Siddha Rupen means fixed. Siddha means perfection. Radhe, you pass your gyabish. I have a question about it. Here we listen that bhajan in the ripe state is called prem bhakti mm. and in the unripe state is called sarana. Mm. My understanding of sarana is that we put ourselves 24-7 in devotional activities to absorb ourselves in bhajan. And we listen also that Raghunath Goswami, he has such a strong discipline. And I miss in my life some discipline. Sometimes I wake up four, sometimes seven, sometimes I do, sometimes I'm not doing. 
So if I would put myself in a strong discipline, then the danger is there that everything becomes mechanical. And my question is, what is the real meaning of spontaneous? It's not that sometimes I do and sometimes not. What is the meaning of rada, bhakti, or spontaneous? Actually, one day case of Baba. We are talking something. He also say the same thing. That Raghunath Das Goswami was very highly elevated sadhak. Okay. Okay. I agree with this. But he was fixed. In his manjari sarva. When you fix in your any relation, that is a siddhi. And siddhi means the when the mango become green and in same tree it ripe. When it ripe, you know, wait one month to eat it. If you no eat, it will become bad after one week. So ripe means ready for that. That is ripe fruit. Similarly, when I do bhajan and a kriya with bhajan, Kriya means of sadhana or, or what you take, ritual, what you take of bhajan, devotional activities, anything what fixes your mind one pointed, that is sadhana. I see many people whole day they are doing but they have no any test, they have no any relation, they have no any goal of life to fix and realize. Emptiness is there, and one has a goal to fix his sarup, and they do sadhana for that. Thirty years they do practice, and they don't know what they do. Twenty years they do practice, but it's emptiness. What sadhana? The sadhana is without meaning weapon. And what is in your sadhana? Sadhana? Okay. What I feel is a sadhana to fix. It's not needed too much, too much what you say. Renounce or what? Tapasya? No, no, no necessary. No necessary. Discipline, you come in discipline when you have a grief for one-pointedness, for perfection in your sarup. That is a tapa, that is a japa, rupa manjari pad, sai mora sampada, sai mora bhajana puja. What is my bhajan? To walk in that path of Rupa Mandir. Uh, what is puja? That I can start moving in that path or not? Say mora pranadhana. Pranadhana, wealth of my huh? life, real wealth. <coughs> to walk through backside him. Yes, means to follow that path of manjari is not easy. Externally not happening. When many purity come in heart, then this desire comes to life. Say mora brata tapa. Why I do the fasting and tapa? Sitting in the austerity. Why austerity? No need austerity. 
<laughs> to sit up near the fire and do burning <laughs> or become <laughs> naked or, or broken clothes wearing? No. <laughs> Is my fortune what I can do? I know. See that my broken cloth has to be important for me. No. Say more tapa. If my, this is my has to be promise to do that. And hey, my tapa fire is a more than fire, yeah. More than fire. Eh? Something you have to do is in the front. And whole life you are lusty for this. And it happened, your, your brata and tapa is examined here now. You took brata, promise or not, and you have a tapa or not. This is tapa and brata. Understand? How you control your senses, how control your mind, how you behave yourself. But I don't know what is my brata. So start with ekadas. <laughs> Maybe one day you will understand what is the tapa. You cannot eat pasta, you cannot eat pickles, you cannot eat anything. This, you have to start leaving many things for that. Living things you have to learn. One day one living thing will come to control your senses and leave all benefit, all circumstances is positive, but you have no interest for that. That is living. If I have no car and I say I leave to drive a car, are you have many cars and you don't sit in car. That is living, right? <laughs> I no sit flight because I have no money to go on that. You have a flight, you have a buy your plate and you don't want to sit on that. That is tapa and brata. Right or not? <laughs> you have all facilities near to you, but you are in brata. Promise. And you are in tapa. You want to burn in the, that fire without that. That is tapa and brata. Right or not? Read Rupa Manjuri and see when Manjuri Bhav come, this thing happening or not. This all will come. That is the perfection of Sarup. Huh? Say more. Tapa, brata. Huh? Same or mantra japa. What is this mantra japa? That I can follow this and live in this. And if Manjari is chanting, Oh, Radha say, bring one glass water. No, no, I have a fifteen minute chant mantra, diksha mantra chanting. I will finish, then I will go to bring your water. Huh? No. Sorry, I cannot bring your water because I am chanting Disha mantra. <laughs> Same or a mantra and same or a japa. But when I will know, when I will chant the mantra and japa, <coughs> understand? Are you got it, yaar? You, she is telling to bring water and you say you will chant Diksha mantra. What is more? This is sadhana bhakti. And how we become Siddha? Why says? Uh, because there is also Seva. And if this Seva helpful, when this Sadha group become in service, in the mood of service, is more helpful for Siddha there. If he like to do service, is more helpful to be, to realize, easy to understand Siddha. See that stage, higher stage. Yeah. Saimura prana dhana. Prana dhana. What is my dhana? Krishna. This is my prana. That my 
my perfection. Imperfection. In my bow. Is Pranda. God is not a perfection, will give me. Dhan wealth is my bow fixed. That is my wealth. Wealth of the person is your money. Dhan. What is my wealth? My asthai bhav is my soul. Prana. Fixed nature. Sarup and Sarup Siddhi. Prabhupada, line page four. Nobody understand. We say in one line every subject. It's, this is my prandhan. And how this will come? Then how is fixed? That is my wealth. Even the Krishna, God, He fear with that person. You see? Manjiris, they are fear, right? Krishna, Krishna is very cautiously talking with that. Why this wealth there? This is the wealth of them. More? Say Mora Abharana. Covering. Because I never open my covering. The moment I cover out, bye bye. <laughs> covering always, I want to cover, to leave that. Krishna say, I cover with Radha Bhav that I don't want to go out from Radhika's field. What about us? Jiva. God want to keep covering of Radha and to follow the mood of Radha. Love. That should be our covering. This is the intelligence here. This is the mercy of Bhanda. Covering means no one to go out, remove my covering. I think my plastic covering is my... <laughs> this is our very stinky covering. <coughs> All stinky. Every day I do this. I say very ugly. Kaka, pee pee, everything I stink. And I see what ugly is this. And by nature, we like this ugly smell. <laughs> and we don't want to leave this ugly. And we become ugly. This is covering. This covering we want to leave. He said, no. I want to cover this, my avaran of my self-realization of my sarup and to follow with rupam, teaching, lying. That covering I want to do. I don't it's stinking a smell I want to do. Understand? What is the meaning of spontaneous? Automatic is a spontaneous would not need to do anything, is happening. Not to me, or It will be happen. It happens, What that is spontaneous. Simple word. What is happening, automatic, is spontaneous. Right or not? No need to do anything. It is happening. Why happening? Because of perfection. In your bhava, Sri Radha. You check. Practice is a mental understanding. Practical. Do the practice and check. Happening. It happens. No need to afford.
That is his spontaneous. That's like this boy comes from here. Is it spontaneous? It attracts something to him. It's spontaneous. It happens. Truth happens. Soul accept. This is spontaneous, right? It happens. You like it because it's a word exchange of the soul. It's an exchange of soul and to the reality, to understand the truth. Every jiva what here is covering and suffering and burning because his mind is not accepting this of the conditional circumstance. <laughs> They want to cover when they understand. They don't want to remove that covering. Love matra understanding come here. No need much. It's simple. It's spontaneous means automatic. No need to do. And when it's automatic come, when I'm fixed as Thai bhav. Fixed means bhav, feeling is fixed. My feelings are jumping. Like you see, you are here. If you go in room, your feeling will change. This has to be a sty everywhere. Fixed. You will be fixed. But spontaneous will happen. Or not. See that? No cambiar en cada lugar que cambiemos, cambiamos de modo de spontaneous graph go like this. Not like this. I think we don't understand the soul or recognize the soul. We, 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 we attract the material thing too much. Mind is so much become material that small jerk it. Shaking. But one shake come, <laughs> and one shake I start shaking like this, and indulge in that. This is it. And then again wake up, oh, no. And whose perfection, they know even for shaking, for one second, they move like this, nothing. <laughs> I'm very spontaneous to fulfill the demands of my senses. Yeah. <laughs> you have a knowledge. You have a knowledge of a spontaneous. You have a knowledge of a spontaneous. spontaneous. So this good experience, spontaneous experience. Very much. I also have an experience from that. I also learned from this spontaneous. <laughs> and then I understand here. Not in old age. Because I become old, so I have to understand. Not like this. <laughs> I understand. When I was in 74. No, 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 no,